Hello, Joe here. Um, another quick, just little, really super fast update with them um, with uh, what's going on with Danielle. She um, she's doing what she she carries on doing well. So far to go with her speech. Uh, she was signed off today with the physiotherapist and the occupational therapist, which is great news. Um, the real the real push now is with her speech, and they're they're sort of exploring what the best thing to do really for her is. She's not keen on leaving Noah. Um, to go to a residential centre, which is what they're sort of wanting to do for her, really. Um, she's really not keen on that, and I totally understand that. Um, and we're just now exploring what the what the best thing to do is. There are options for speech therapy at home, <clears throat> although it doesn't last as long. The the, the funding isn't there for it to be um, uh, for it to be as as, as as long as probably would be needed for Danielle's level of uh, deficit. Um, so that's potentially not great. Um, on the other hand, there's a residential uh, thing which would be more intensive and potentially better suited to, to helping her, but she would be away from me and Noah, and that's not something that at the moment she's prepared to uh, to do, which I totally, totally understand. So we're just trying to explore what the best thing for her um, recovery is going to be. Um, and for the reasons I've just said, that's really, really tough. Um, can I just say a huge thank you to everyone that works at um, Basildon Hospital? that has signed her card or um, contributed to, to what seems to have been a huge fund to buy her gifts and um, g uh, and give her some money to buy something nice for herself. That was just such a generous thing. She was really unbelievably touched by that when she looked at the card and, and saw how many people had signed it and how many people were, um, were concerned for her. Um, for her well-being and uh, she she really was genuinely emotionally uh, touched by that so thank you so much um i just wanted to let you know because it uh it really did have a big impact on her she kept talking about it all day she was really touched and thank you to um robin and lizzie who came to see her today she really enjoyed seeing you it was lovely um uh, thank you to everyone that, that continues to pray for us and send us their um best wishes Danielle came out of hospital today for an hour to go and see, well, for a couple of hours, to go and see um, <clears throat> something at Noah's school, which is called shared learning, where you go and you observe, you do something together with them in the classroom. It involves the parents. Uh, the school said that we could both go, which normally they only let one parent go. Um, and it was really, really lovely. Thank you to those parents that also were there. And, and um, you know, I, I, I did ask you to keep your distance. and You didn't. It was lovely because Danielle just, she was really um, concerned about being able to understand and be understood and it was nice for her not to have that um, um, that pressure so thank you for, for the way that you that you were um, respectful of her today I really appreciate it thank you um, that was a lovely thing it's the first time she's been out of hospital in two weeks um, on, uh, and it was lovely that she could go to school um, thank you again for your prayers and your and your and your good thoughts and your um, and your uh, you're well wishing. We really do appreciate it, and it makes a big difference to us. Thank you for those that are helping with Noah and helping um, with with stuff here. Um, I haven't mentioned how much my parents are doing um, to support us, and I think I want to talk about that in a whole separate thing. So they are being unbelievably um, supportive and helpful, and I, I I just couldn't do this without them, and I, I I'm really grateful. So I I will talk about them. Um, in, a, in a separate video later on. But um, thank you to everyone. Have a great day. Hug the people that you love. Take care. Bye.